Hey guys, Omni here. Just got back from seeing Robert Eggers' The Northman. The film stars Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Clay Bang, and Anya Taylor-Joy with minor appearances from Ethan Hawke, Willem Dafoe, and Bjork. The story itself centers around Alexander Skarsgård's character Amleth as a child as his father, played by Ethan Hawke, returns home from battle to share his spoils with his kingdom, his queen, and his son. He's also joined by his brother, played by Clay Bang, who has kind of other plans as he seeks to overthrow his brother take his queen, played by Nicole Kidman, as his own and exterminate that bloodline to start his own. However, Amleth is able to escape and pledges to return one day to avenge his father, rescue his mother, and kill Fjolnir, his uncle. During this time away, he's taken in by a group of Vikings who raise him as one of their berserkers and he evolves and grows into this warrior, bred for plundering and pillaging and eventually fate intervenes and sends him back on course to exact his revenge. He disguises himself with a group of slaves that are on their way to Fjolnir's compound so that he could try to infiltrate and exact that revenge. It's here that he runs into Anya Taylor-Joy's character, who is a Slavic sorceress who has also been imprisoned by this family. And what ensues is a revenge tale, but it is one that is painted in swaths of gray. Um, with no spoilers whatsoever, not everybody, our hero is not innocent in his own way. He is very much a broken man who is driven only by this hatred and revenge. And it's more of a cautionary tale and a tale on how violence and evil beget more violence and more evil. This has this an epic feel to it all, a mythical feel to it, because as much as it's steeped in reality and the realism and the accuracies of its time period. There's an ethereal and spiritual nature to this movie in the imagery, in the aesthetics, in the way that the story unfolds. It's like we're watching an actual myth come to life. And this is based on an actual uh, folk tale, though this has its very own spin on it. And that very same folk tale about Amleth is what inspired Shakespeare's Hamlet in the end. And that you can see a lot of the similarities here within, but it definitely takes a lot of that inspiration from the culture and the beliefs at the time and creates something that, while I think the trailer sells you on this grounded, historically accurate Viking revenge story, what we get is more ethereal in nature. It definitely has a more spiritual vibe to it. There is a supernatural vibes to this film throughout. Um, and it has this kind of, sweeping larger than life scope to it all when it's really still about this broken man trying to get revenge for what was done to him and his own. And as the story unfolds, we see all these layers kind of pulled back and there's so many beautiful sequences in this, so much beautiful imagery. No matter how otherworldly this film does get, it stays very grounded in the action, the performances, and just the setting in general as we see these customs, these rituals, these vies, these fights, these moments, these people just trying to live and survive, it doesn't shy away from the horrors of the time or the horrors that are committed either by our hero or by the antagonist. And it's brutal, man. It's violent. It is bloody. It is grotesque. It is disgusting at times. And, uh, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. This is a movie you should probably not see if you're squeamish at all. Um, the action is phenomenal. I think everybody across the board gives great performances in this. Alexander Skarsgård invokes this primal rage that still has this hint of that child that just wants to save his mother and be reunited with his family, combined and buried within this performance throughout the entire thing. And how this rage that has consumed him all these years has made him blind to a lot of other things in his life up to this point. Cleese Bang gives a very reserved, sullen, and strong performance here. I think this is honestly the first thing I've actually seen him in. Nicole Kidman is stellar in this. Anya Taylor-Joy is just as phenomenal as she always is. I think the acting just across the board is just on point. And the cinematography is gorgeous. This. I left the theater being like, man, I need to make a trip to Iceland one day. There's a lot of imagery that is crafted from the mind, from the page, from the culture 
the beliefs that are brought to life here. Even when this movie is just steeped in blood, gore, and guts, it is still hauntingly beautiful at times. This movie is, uh, like, it's just ethereal and otherworldly. I don't even know how to really describe it or anything else. It gave me some vibes similar to The Green Knight, but while staying more grounded than that movie, of course, was, it very much, like, there's a, I was in my head throughout, while I was watching this, very much thought I was, uh, experiencing like something on the scale of like an authorian legend but of course these are all kind of rooted in their own cultures and their own mythologies robert eggers does a brilliant job bringing this down into this melancholic beautiful story of tragedy and revenge and love and betrayal and uh, it's just so overwhelming i really found myself enthralled with the movie and the story that was being told and the journey that our main character was kind of going on this film is definitely not going to be for everybody this is a film that you cannot just go into turn your brain off and slap some popcorn into your face it's going to make you think it's going to make you feel it's going to make you ponder and it's something that you have to experience because it's not just a straightforward revenge tale it's artistically driven it's got a pure um, vision behind it all and it i don't i don't know if it's going to rub the right way with everybody but i really enjoyed myself in this movie and I, i'd love to know if you guys is, if you guys have checked it out what did you all think sound off in the comments let me know your thoughts down below we'll carry on the conversation after the video feel free to join me in a discord we can talk about it there as well links to that and all my socials are down below before we go i want to shout out our channel legends manny sherrett ryan karen philly bain yori koryskov margaret grace mary bradley nate proudy and melita thank you guys as always for your continued support that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.